Narco-primitivism, so-called, uh, first started getting around, there was maybe more of a kind of, I don't know if you could call it kind of purist point of view, that if it wasn't nomadic hunter-gatherer, then it wasn't, then it was horrible, and it <laughs> wouldn't be worth pursuing. That would certainly be the goal. And that, that hasn't been eclipsed, I would say. Uh, I, I don't think that's been lost sight of. I think it's, I think it's fairly clear that's kind of an ideal anti-hierarchical uh, condition, the nomadic part, before you get to sedentism. But on the other hand, I think there are people, including Kevin Tucker, who have written persuasively that there are a lot of uh, small-scale horticultural, horticulture-based societies that have been uh, uh, exemplary, that have not fallen into the, the usual things that come from domestication. And, you know, and some of this, again, the domestication thing is the watershed. For example, people say, oh, you're all in love with the primitive, but what about cannibalism or genital mutilation or human sacrifice or, you know, stuff like that. Well, none of those things existed before domestication. So I think it's more important to to keep that in mind as a general thing rather than try to say that we're going to have some litmus test or blueprint or something like that in terms of a return.